So let's talk about the Oscars. As a lot of you know, I saw a lot of movies this year, including every single acting, directing, and Best Picture nominee. So, as in addition to that, I've also saw a lot of other movies that get nominated in other categories, which is what, what's playing off to my... I don't know what that is. It would It's actually to my right, but it's going to show up to your left, so... Whatever. Uh, those are scrolling over there right now. What can I say? Sometimes my tastes different, differ from what the Academy is. As most of you know, when we get to Best Picture and Best Director, that's going to come up a lot. So, now that the preliminary stuff is out of the way, let's actually get to the acting categories. So I'll start with Best Supporting Actress. And here we have Patricia Arquette for Boyhood, Emma Stone for Birdman, Kira Knightley in The Imitation Game, Meryl Streep, Into the Woods, and Laura Dern, Wild. This is really just going to be a two-horse race, not even that, really. I'm pretty sure Patricia Arquette is going to win. If I'm honest, as much as I dislike that film, she did have the most compelling character there. But, personally speaking... Emma Stone really impressed me in Birdman. I think she should win it. If you want me to talk about the others briefly, Kira Knightley, it was actually nice to see her not just play, like, the pretty person. I mean, she's pretty, but there's more to her character than that. Uh, Meryl Streep is just hamming it up in Into the Woods. And Laura Dern plays a cancer-stricken mother. Honestly, though, the movie, she's important, but her performance doesn't really stick with me. Okay, moving on to Best Supporting Actor, we have J.K. Simmons in Whiplash, Edward Norton in Birdman, Ethan Hawke in Boyhood, Mark Ruffalo in Foxcatcher, and Robert Duvall in The Judge. This is a lock. This is J.K. Simmons. If you don't know why, you have not seen that movie. And it's a real shame, because Edward Norton in Birdman is also just fantastic. You could argue that he carries more of the film than uh, Michael Keaton, but yeah, J.K. Simmons probably gave what I consider to be the best performance of the year, lead or supporting, whatever. Ethan Hawke, yeah, whatever. Mark Ruffalo, he was good in Foxcatcher, so yeah, what, whatever. Robert Duvall in The Judge, no. Surely there were better performances than that. Uh, the Judge, for those who don't know, it's it's a TV movie with some better actors in it. That's it. Okay, so, yeah, J.K. Simmons, Best Supporting Actor. That should not be controversial. Next, we have Best Actor in a Leading Role. Here we have Michael Keaton in Birdman, Eddie Redmayne in The Theory of Everything, Benedict Cumberbatch in The Imitation Game, Steve Carell in Foxcatcher, and Bradley Cooper in American Sniper. This is a two-horse race, and honestly, I don't know which one is going to win, but I'd kind of be happy with either of them. I think my personal preference would be for Michael Keaton and Birdman to win. I love that performance, but I also have to acknowledge that despite I'm I liked the theory of everything, but I didn't think it was anything terribly special. It seemed more like a love story with a little bit of physics in it, but was elevated by two very good lead performances, and Eddie Redmayne, obviously, especially considering the fact that they shot it out of order, he had to adapt his performance to whatever scene they were playing, or whatever scene they were filming at the time. And that's very tough to do, so... And he, he was excellent in that film, so I think they're going to give it to him. I personally want to go see it to go to Keaton, but whichever one wins it, they deserve it. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch would be my third choice. I really liked his portrayal of Alan Turing. <sighs> Honestly, Steve Carell and Bradley Cooper should not have been nominated in this category. Their spots should have been taken by Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler and by David Oyelowo in Selma. 
they were better performances. Steve Carell, it's more his makeup. I mean, he's fine, but eh. And Bradley Cooper, although he does get across the emotion, I compare that to either of the other two. No. Sorry. I really don't understand why they got nominated. Best Actress in a Leading Role. We have Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl, Julianne Moore in Still Alice, Felicity Jones in The Theory of Everything, Marion Cotillard in Two Days, One Night, and Reese Witherspoon in Wild. Unanimously, in every other award ceremony, this has gone to Julianne Moore, and she does carry that film. I still think Rosamund Pike should win this. It's going to be Julianne Moore. Rosamund Pike should be the one winning this award. Julianne Moore's fine. As I say, she carries that film. She's really good at it. Rosamund Pike was the only performance that made me go, wow, of this entire bunch. Uh, Felicity Jones, as I said, as I said earlier, her performance elevates an otherwise kind of mediocre film in the theory of everything to be something notable. Uh, Mary and Cotillard, I'm actually still watching Two Days, One Night, and I'm sorry to say it's kind of boyhood levels of dull, although she's fine in it. I can kind of understand why she got the nomination, but not... It's really just her going to each of her fellow employees and begging for her job over the bonus that they got when, if they lay her off. I, I don't buy the premise of that film. It's kind of just bleh. Reese Witherspoon and Wilde's actually really good, but unfortunately she got overshadowed by the other two. Now we get into an interesting category here in Best Director. And I'm going to mispronounce this first name, so... Alejandro Gonzalez Inaratu for Birdman, Richard Linklater for Boyhood, Wes Anderson in The Grand Budapest Hotel, Morton Tildum, The Imitation Game, and Bennett Miller for Foxcatcher. I'm really surprised Bennett Miller got nominated here. It's You would think that another Best Picture nominee would get in here, but no. No, they have Bennett Miller in here really don't understand that. I mean, the direction there is fine, it's just whatever. Anyway, another two-horse race. This is going to be between Link Ladder and Inaratu. And, well, I should not have to explain that I think Inaratu should win this. Ah, uh, because, good. No, 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 I'm not going to rant. I think people already know my feelings on Boyhood. Uh, who, the, who the Academy is going to pick? I think they're going to pick Linklater. I don't want them to. I want this to go to Inaratu, but it's probably going to go to Linklater. Anderson's great. I've liked every movie of his I've seen, and this is probably his best one. He'd be my second choice. Uh, Morton Tildum, Imitation Game's great. Uh, no, that'd probably be my fourth pick. Bennett Miller, again, I don't know why he was nominated. I can at least understand why Boyhood got nominated, but why I don't understand Foxcatcher getting nominated here at all. Anyway, so my choice, Inoratu, Academy is probably going to go with Link Lauder. Okay, getting on to the final category of Best Picture. We, the nominees are American Sniper, Birdman, Boyhood, The Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything, and Whiplash. It should be obvious, if you've watched any of my other movie videos, that I think Birdman should win. Prize is probably going to go to Boyhood. I hope I don't have to explain why. But, yeah, so let's go just go through these in order of my preference here. Birdman... I think should win. It's just great, great acting all around. A very interesting visual style and characters you like. And actually pretty good story, too. Uh, then I'd have the Grand Budapest Hotel, which is just quirky and fun. Probably Wes Anderson's best movie to date. 
The Imitation Game, a story not many people know, elevated by a very good performance by Benedict Cumberbatch. Whiplash, which actually makes drumming interesting. How a, a movie can make drumming interesting? Well, just watch Whiplash, you'll understand. Then it has Selma, which has a really good performance by David Oyelowo. I don't know why he wasn't nominated for Best Actor, as I said previously. I thought there were a few really weird cinematography choices in here that keep me from having it in the upper tier of my uh, choices. Uh, then The Theory of Everything, which, as I already said, kind of a mediocre story, but elevated by some really good lead performances. American Sniper, good performance by Bradley Cooper. I, I, he's fine. Story itself, very standard war movie, with very down on anything non-American, and a very underdeveloped PTSD subplot. And then finally, Boyhood, which... Pardon me, that movie... Hated it! Alright. Those are my Academy Award thoughts. Let me know below what you think. Talk to you later.